On behalf of certainly the GFF and, and the entire Gambian people, was to do well to unite the people of the Gambia behind the team. And we were able to achieve that from our first game. And it continued right towards the end. That unity pushed us because every day we receive a news call, text messages of goodwill and support. And we know what was happening actually uh, here. So that filtered down in the, in the camp and helped us to get to this level. So my message to the people of the Gambia is to stay that way. In unity, we can achieve anything. First of all, I will say Alhamdulillah, you know, because it's not an easy journey, you know. Yeah, but thank God we are back again, huh? Yeah, but you can see the tournament also, we did very well. My boys did very well. And then I know the Gambia also, they're proud of us. Because this is the first time Gambia qualified for the final. This is the first time. Yeah, Alhamdulillah, definitely we did well. Congrats. Yeah, as you can see, the overall reaction through the boys was, it wasn't easy for us after the end of the final. The boys, everyone with us was sad, so it was a hard moment for us, but we give thanks to the Almighty Allah for everything, because as you can see, he is responsible for everything. So going there and putting the flag at the high high, it's our aim, and obviously we have made something for the nation. As you can see, everyone is proud of us. So it has means a lot to us, because even the welcome self is something else. So we are so glad and happy about it. I was playing for us. We make it happen, we win the trophy. Yes, for the clean seats, we work it hard. All the team work. You see the different they are working, I'm working. Everyone in the team is working. That's why. Right. But unfortunately, we lost it in the final. It was a hard, a bitter rival. We I mean, lose against Senegal. Gonna take it. Uh, the road reaction was like, uh, I think like I need to thank enough the guys for the for the whole accomplishment, uh, accomplishment we did to the whole tournament. I feel like we did great, but then unfortunately we just had to lose the game in certain ways. But then. Me personally, I'm so much proud of you guys and the entire entire staffs, so as well. So I think we did great. Just it's just unfortunate that we just had to miss the um the finals, but then that's sports anyways. So I'm just thanking you guys. I mean, as the head coach of the under 20, um, um, we didn't concede a goal up to the final. Um, we didn't have a defeat. We scored 10 goals almost in all games we have scored. I mean, again, um, voted um, coach of the fourth round, and. Won five uh, man of the match. All the uh, five games that we've played before the final, we won the man of the match. And I think I was very much pleased with the achievement that we have. Even though, as I said, we wanted to win the, uh, with the championship. But um, we flanked a lot um, from the whole tournament and the final as well. Like everyone else said, we've done our under 20 in the WAFU at the continental level, but the highest we have gone is uh, a semi-finalist and then win the bronze. So there is a huge improvement moving from the bronze to the silver. And of course we are also going against a country that has gone to the final three times and that was the fourth time before they could win it. So we are hoping that Gambia will also follow the footsteps. Of this is the first time we've reached the semi-final, I mean the final. The next moment, we're certain that Gambia will be victorious and will bring home the trophy.